you see how good it is to have a good sister president who we'll toss, we'll toss together yes. at the yes. end. Yes. So you propose the toss, I'll, invite you. I'll accept it, yes. and we'll toss, and everyone else will toss. Great. Thank Asante, you. Asante. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Your Excellency, Mr. Hakainde Chilema. Oh, please be seated. Sorry, please be seated. Thank you. Your Excellency, Mr. Hakainde Chilema, President of the Republic of Zambia, and Mama Hichilema, my sister Mutinte, and I recognize the presence of former First Ladies with us here. Your Excellency, Madam Motale Nalumango, Vice President of the Republic of Zambia, again, a sister of mine, <clears throat> and former Vice Presidents, Honorable Nelly Muti, Speaker of the National Assembly of Zambia, Honorable Dr. Mumba Malila, Chief Justice of the Republic of Zambia, Honorable Ministers from Zambia and Tanzania here present, Excellencies, Ambassadors and High Commissioners, and other members of diplomatic corps, senior government officials from Zambia and Tanzania, religious leaders, traditional elders, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, Moli Bwanji. It gives me a great pleasure to join you on this momentous occasion to commemorate the 59th independence anniversary of the Republic of Zambia. On behalf of the government and people of the United Republic of Tanzania, I'd like to convey our sincere congratulations on marking this auspicious day. Congratulations, Zambia. At this point, allow me to convey or humbly convey my heartfelt appreciation to Your Excellency, my brother, President Hakainde Hichilema, for the cordial invitation for me to be a special guest and be given an honor to grace this glorious day. I say thank you, Zikomo Kwambiri. Relatedly, let me retreat my personal appreciation to the government and the people of Zambia for the exceptional warmth and gracious hospitality extended to me and my delegation since our arrival in this beautiful garden city of Lusaka. Indeed, we have felt at home, away from home, but we are at home. Thank you. I'm overjoyed to see and witness the festive moods, your hearts oozing with patriotic pride and mouths filled with gratitude as you salute the national flag and sing the national anthem and of course dancing with joy. This euphoria is what many of us experience during our national days because Independence Day serves as a powerful reminder of our hard-won freedom and freedom to rewrite our destiny. This day gives us a moment to reflect and appreciate the struggles and the selfless sacrifices made by our, made by our forefathers. Sacrifices that did not only ensure we attain our freedom as one Zambia, but moreover, we keep our freedom as one nation. The Independence Day we are enjoying today is because our founding fathers believe in, in a cause, fought for the cause, and set ways to achieve this cause. And here, allow me to borrow the words from the late President, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, who reminded us, and I quote, that when people understand a cause, become prepared to suffer for that cause and see glory and honor in such suffering. It is indeed just impossible to suppress them or the cause they stand for. 
and of God. Today, today, 59 years later, as we gather here, let us remember the unity and diversity that makes Zambia a strong nation. Let us rekindle and reconnect with our history. Let us access our let us assess our progress and let us reaffirm our commitment to build a better future for all. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this, this year's theme says accelerating national development through equitable distribution of resources. It's a very relevant theme and timely, not only to Zambia, but also to other African countries, including my own Tanzania. It reminds us that the noble struggle for independence was invention to make Africa masters, to make Africans masters of their own destiny, not only politically, but also in terms of economic advancement and improving their people's well-being. This theme also resonates with the Zambian Zambian Eighth National Development Plan, which is designed to unleash Zambia's economic potentials. Indeed, Zambia's remarkable progress in social economic development is undeniable, undeniably commendable. Your Excellency, we have witnessed with admiration the exemplary work you have undertaken in creating national cohesion, in building sustainable development for all Zambians. Tanzania recognizes the significance of these values, and we have consistently championed them within our borders and internationally. With this shared commitment in mind, we in Tanzania firmly believe in Zambia and the resilience of its people, trusting that you will continue to uphold these values with unwavering determination. Your Excellency, we welcome your engagement efforts at the regi regional level. And in August, uh, in, in August 2022, I was honored to host you on your first state visit in the United Republic of Tanzania as part of your efforts to engage with neighboring countries. We discussed, we discussed and agreed on a number of issues, some of which we'll have an opportunity to discuss further during my visit and during my three-day stay here in Zambia. I wish to note that people of Tanzania and the entire region have great hopes in Zambia's leadership at the regional level, including as chair of the SEDEC organ on politics, defense, and security cooperation. We hold the belief that under Zambia's guidance, our region will further advance its endeavors towards achieving peace by extension, fostering an environment conducive for deeper economic integration. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, when we speak of equitable distribution of resources, we underscore the need for the people to be at the center of our initiatives. To the Zambians and Tanzanians nationals that are now listening to us today, I want to assure you that President Hishilema and I are believers of people-centered economic development. And in this regard, our two governments will continue to put favorable environment to ensure free movement of goods and people. To us, the geographical borders will simply remain as administrative lines between two people that cannot be separated due to our shared history, geography, blood kinship, tribes, and culture. And here, Allow me to paraphrase the former President of the United States of America, 
John F. Kennedy, who said, and I quote, geography has made us neighbors. History has ma made us friends. Economics has made us partners. And necessity has made us allies. Those whom God has so joined together, let no man put asunder. End of quote. In the spirit of having people at the center of our, of our initiatives, and in line with our ambition to further ease business between our two countries, my government has made a decision to allocate 20 hectares of land at the Kuala Dry Port and coastal region of Tanzania for consignments destined for Zambia. <laughs> Furthermore, Zambia will be facilitated with a longer storage period. And this move will reduce congestion and delays and ultimately reduce cost for doing business in Zambia. As such, we invested that this move will further boost trade between our two countries and create more trade opportunities for our two peoples. This is the gift from Tanzania as you celebrate your independence. Apart from that, we have embarked on the modernization and mechanization of Dar es Salaam port to ensure the port is effectively and efficiently timely and seamless in its activities. I wish to call on the business community, which I'm going to meet them just after this uh, uh, gathering. So I call them, the business community in Zambia, to seize this unique opportunity. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as you are celebrating this important day, I'd like to assure you, our Zambian sisters and brothers, that Tanzania will remain an extended family member, a reliable friend, and a strategic partner, much as, as it was during the struggle for political liberation. We will continue to be a friend for all season and complement each other in the drive to, to transform our economies. Our founding fathers were able, against all odds, to establish from scratch one of the greatest economic corridors ever to be built in the post-independence Africa. The Tazama, the Tazara, and Tanzam, all stretching along thousands of kilometers of forests and mountains, all in the quest for economic emancipation and political liberation of our countries. We will continue to take all necessary measures to ensure that this corridor remains vibrant as it was envisaged during its inception. Recognizing the need to ensure energy security and adequate power supply for our industries, we continue in our endeavor to link the Southern African Power Pole with the Eastern, Eastern Power Pole. Understanding the need to leave new, to, understanding the need to leave new milestone of our own, we will continue in our commitment to transform the existing Tanzania Zambia Mafuta pipeline, Tazama, and construct a new natural gas pipeline from Dar es Salaam to Zambia. As we look ahead, I wish to reaffirm Tanzania's commitment to strengthen the existing ties of cooperation and bonds of friendship between our two nations. Toward this aim, our shared vision of prosperous, peaceful, and united Africa remains our guiding principle. I once again extend my warmest congratulations to the people of Zambia on this auspicious occasion. May your Independence Day be a time of reflection, celebration, 
and renewed determination to build a brighter future for all Zambians. May I now call my brother to come and have a toast together. Are you proposing? Yes. So now our sisters and brothers join us in toasting for the prosperity of our countries. Cheers. Cheers. God bless Zambia, and may you all have a wonderful national celebration. Thank you so much. Ziko Mokwambire Asante Sana. Thank you. Thank you very much. Those were remarks delivered by Her Excellency President Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania.